Hey everyone, this is Rushlock, and we're looking at RimWorld today. Uh, this is the first time I've ever booted the game up before, so I have no idea what to expect. Of course, we're going to start off with the uh, tutorial here. Welcome to RimWorld. This tutorial will teach you how to play the game. The first step is generate a world to play in. This page configures how your world should be generated. The default settings here are good. Go ahead and uh, click Generate. So you can uh, name the seed, I guess, randomize the seed, or maybe you can type in the name of a, of a seed. It has settings predetermined. Uh, globe coverage 30%. I have no idea what that is. Planet is always the same diameter, but since it's far larger than needed for play, we don't generate the whole surface. Ah, okay. Uh, could take a very long time. This is the percentage of the surface you want generated. Uh, overall rainfall, overall temperature. Let's generate. Here you choose your landing sites. There are lots of biomes, uh, but for now, let's start with a friendly one. Click a landing site with a temperate forest biome and flat terrain and click next. You can use terrain tab or use the terrain tab to view information about the selected tile. Um, this reminds me of uh, Deadlock a little bit early on. Let's see. So we want to find a... Temperate forest, I think it said. I have no idea what it means by friendly, though. It's a faction. Also a forest. That's a plain. Are these mountains? Valleys? I don't get it. Um... Do a lot of variety around this one. I don't know if coastal is useful or not, or, or what. We'll start there. Please select the landing site. I thought we did. Oh, is my dot the one? In that case, uh, temperate forest. Oh, okay. So wherever we click is what we're going to have. And things around us will just be what we have access to, I guess, or other factions, maybe? I don't know. Let's try to start somewhere near these two things, in case we need to find out what they are. Now you can choose characters. Click in the left area to select from available characters. If you find a character you like, drag them into the top section with the selected label. Let's see. We gotta take Erickson. These are the ones that are selected. Oh, okay, we can pick up there. So we have Diver, which is a mercenary leader. Uh, we have a Glitterwood Empath, a Defector, a Navy Scientist, or an Herbalist. Uh, I think the Herbalist might be useful. I don't know how to drag them up there, though. Oh, there we go. If you don't like a character, you can regenerate it. Uh, try randomizing a character with the randomized button. So you can take a character, like, if you just like the name, I guess, and just keep randomizing for new attributes. Uh, let's see, I don't care for the sailor, so let's randomize. Great, reorder and randomize more if you want, but don't try to get the perfect characters. Everyone has flaws, and it makes the story more interesting. You can also rename the character by clicking on their name. Start when you're ready. All right, so we have an under uh, cave world tunneler, a medieval lord, and an herbalist. I don't know if that's just flavor or mechanics. I have no idea, but we'll see. Um... Passion is burning, learns joy. I guess they get more joy by doing this activity, maybe? We've got the uh, Tunneler who likes... Well, it's like growing, shooting, and melee. Um, nope. Not, oh, it's team skills. Never mind. Okay. The three of you awake in your uh, cryptosleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to this escape pause before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Uh, here you are on the surface. Now try moving the camera around. Use WASD keys and, or click and drag uh, with the middle mouse button. Try it now. Ah, like the progress bar for the how much you move the camera around. 
You can also zoom in with the mouse wheel or the page up and page down. Try that now. That's all the way in. That's all the way out. I want to zoom in now for just detail purposes, but we'll see. Uh, you can pause time. This means you never need to rush. You can always pause and take your, your time to issue orders. Try pausing with the space key or by using the time controls in the bottom right. So there was pause and you have, I guess, accelerated time, uh, the two different settings and normal time. You can also speed up time. Try controlling time with the one, two, and three keys or with the time controls in the bottom right. So if I go one, normal, two is at, three is speeded up. Let's put it back to one, it's also pause. Uh, great, make a stockpile so your colonists know where to keep items. Click Architect on the bottom left, click the Zone Area category, select the Create Stockpile tool, click the click and drag out a square as indicated on the map. I don't know if we can like do one thing at a time or what, but we'll see. So Zone Area, Stockpile Zone, that was pretty straightforward. A little RTS like with all the hotkeys for certain buildings. Um, click and drag out a square, okay. So we're gonna do that. Uh, right click to get out of stockpile designing mode, just like that. Now to allow your colonists to bring your items to the stockpile, you must unforbid the items. Clicking your starting items to select items, so select them. clicking your starting items to select them. Then you do like this, yeah. Click the Toggle Forbidden command to un unforbid them. Just there. Um, pro tip, double click an item to select all on the screen of the same type. Ah, okay. Double click this. Like so. I think anything else is forbidden. Oh, there are. Oh, the arrows were pointing to them the whole time. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Awesome. Next, we'll build a room. Uh, click Architect. Uh, st click Structure. So let's go there. Click structure. Uh, select Wall. I guess we need to unpause to... Uh, let the nerds gather our stuff so we have resources. Yeah, they're gathering stuff up now. I don't know how Kim's doing, but it looks disgusting. Uh, let's see. Select wood as material. Looks like an auto film. I don't see where we could have changed the material type, but oh well. Uh, drag out four walls to form the shape indicated on the map. Uh, oh, four walls, like, okay, I got you. One, two, nope, okay. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, now, just place a door over any or one of the room walls, okay, so door. Over there, I guess. Your colonists will now build the room. Uh, now they need somewhere to sleep. Place three beds inside the room. So furniture, bed, three. You can use Q and E keys to rotate the building. The building of the item, I presume. Uh, let's do one, two, three. Let's right click to get away from it, I guess. You'll also want some light inside, or your colonists will get grumpy in the dark. Build a torch lamp inside the room. Okay. Building failed over there. For, oh, never mind. That's pretty cool. Uh, so your, your pets will sleep inside with you. I saw a dog with that wolf around earlier. Uh, Place an animal sleeping spot inside the room. So animal. Uh, 
put it there, I guess. Your colonists uh, need sources of joy or they'll get sad over time. Build a horseshoes pin outside near the room. So joy. Oh, oh when you clicked it, you had a material type. Let's go with wood. Near the room. Okay, so... We're gonna need more lumber, but I guess you can go ahead and build it, and then, like... As they get the resources to do so, they'll, they'll take care of it. The house is being built. Your colonists will need something to eat, so... Place a growing zone, as indicated on the map. This is where your colonists will sow crops. Alright, so we need to go to zoning. Right click away from stuff. Zoning. Uh, growing zone. Specified it. I'll click away from it. You can decide what plants your colonists should sow in the growing zone. Right click to exit architect mode. Click the growing zone to select it. Uh, select plants, command at the bottom, and change it to rice. Uh, there. Okay. Oh, the whole zone has got designated as rice, I presume. It looks like they're still, uh... They stockpiled at some point. I don't know where the stockpile went, though. Well, they're not stockpiling into the buildings. I don't know where all the materials went. They're not storing it anywhere, I can tell. They're just using materials that they're gathering for construction. Uh, have your weaponist equip the starting weapons. To equip a weapon, click a colonist. Oh, we got over here for weapons. Gotcha. Uh, Right-click the weapon you want to equip. Click colonist to select them. Right-click the weapon you want them to equip. Uh, let's give him the rifle, I guess. Do it for each colonist, right? That was Nixon. I can also select them up here. Uh, quarter tooth can take this. Cannot equip it, so that's unfortunate. Okay, he's incapable of violence. Fantastic. Kim, you're killing me. Let's equip the revolver. So I wonder if I have a because I have a pacifist uh, dude if it's going to break the uh, tutorial, but we can hope not. Uh, maybe I can have him equip more than one weapon. Or maybe I can have quarter tooth equip a different item. Consume, no. Consume, no. Uh, Alright, Kim, try to equip this just to make it happy. Maybe we can trick tutorial thinking we've done it three times and go from there. Nope. Alright, you equip this. I think we just broke it. So we have a pacifist for a uh, person. Combats. Uh, social. It really doesn't want me to uh, do anything other than follow the script, but if you get stuck with the pacifist, I think it's just, just SOL. I don't think we're going to gain another person before uh, it becomes relevant. We're chopping down wood to make room for the wall. I presume to build the wall and go from there. I wonder if because we see light inside the building if there's no roof, but I don't know how that works. I uh, really need Quarter Tooth here to cooperate. Ugh. They're just killing these moles. What is this? Nope. Well, they're still using materials to finish the house. I think we just broke the uh, tutorial. I'll we'll come back to it. Which I like, tried again and start a new one. If there's a way to do it, I don't see what it would be, so I guess we'll just start a new one.